Now to Afghanistan. The State Department is launching an investigation into charges made against guards who work at the U.S. Embassy in Kabul. An independent report says the guards, who are contract employees, not military personnel, engaged in hazing, sex parties, and drunkenness, jeopardizing security. Our chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, is here now. Brian. Charlie, one of the guards told ABC News today that supervisors for the Amor Group company pressured employees to be part of what amounted to drunken sex orgies if they wanted promotions or assignments to the best shifts at the embassy. The potential for disaster on this boggles the mind. This is home video of one of the few scenes suitable for broadcast, taken by one of the embassy guards in Kabul and turned over to the nonprofit watchdog group, the Project on Government Oversight. It's really a place where the supervisors in particular have just let things become wild and, and uh, dangerous. One of the guards in Kabul, a U.S. military veteran, told ABC News that top bosses from Armor Group were, quote, sexual deviants who have been carrying on this way for at least a year and a half, demanding sex from new arrivals. They knew that's what would get them where they need to go here, you know, get promoted, be a team leader, whatever. It was demeaning. Earlier this summer, an executive of Armor Group's parent company, Wackenhut, testified the company was doing a good job. We are a guard company that prides itself in doing missions well. Guards say company executives at headquarters were well aware of the wild scene in Kabul and took no steps to stop it. At times, Afghan women were brought in for sex. In one case that we're aware of, that there was a supervisor who had a birthday party and was perfectly proud of announcing that he was bringing in prostitutes. The guard who spoke to ABC News said the drunkenness and depravity and the Lord of the Flies culture demanded by supervisors made it impossible to guarantee the security of the embassy. There have been previous complaints about Armor Group, but the State Department said today it was unaware of these allegations until last week. As in Iraq, the U.S. relies heavily on such private contractors in Afghanistan and once again, their performance and behavior has proven to be a huge embarrassment to this country, Charlie. Our chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross.